I'm here with another video, and this is Alyssa. Hey there. I have not made a video in so long, guys. I'm so sorry. I've been like going to work, and like it's just a bunch of shit that's happened in the past couple of weeks. We don't need to get into that. What we do need to get into is Pokemon, because she has done a bunch of shit to me in the past couple of weeks. Because I posted compilations of her butt talks being seen. She doesn't want me to say butt because her mom doesn't like looking at that or doesn't like these words. So, how old are you? Like 23? 24? Act like a fucking child. Let, let's just get into it. So, here she is in her natural habitat. As always, eating ramen. Don't take that as a racist joke. Because <laughs> she's Asian. Always sitting there playing the Playing other people's videos, eating ramen, like I said, watching her chat. She doesn't even play games. Does she still play Fortnite? Like, wait, yes, she does. She still does for the, the ad revenue, right? Let's get into it, though. Hey, how does it feel to know that I'm going to take down your video? Does it hurt your feelings? <laughs> Why does it hurt your feelings? Okay, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you hear what she said? She said, how does it feel to know that I'm going to take down your video? That's actually kind of rude. Like, no, that's just straight evil. What? She just said, I'm going to take down your video. <laughs> yeah, so today we're going to be talking about a female live streamer. And you know what that means, kids. Thank you so much for the sub. Oh, my God, guys. Yes. I promise Ninja's not gay. He's just acting like that for a stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Lazarus, welcome. He's making fun of Twitch dots, basically. Let me, let me put you on the chalkboard. <laughs> 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 oh my god! So I think that clip there kind of summarizes the reputation that maybe 80% of female streamers have on Twitch. And honestly, I kind of feel like they have themselves to blame for this. However, today, we're not going to be talking about one of these farts. We're going to be talking about a very respectable female live streamer known as Pokemon. Yeah, so here's the thing. Pokemon is actually pretty respectable. Oh my gosh, this mic's annoying. Pokey's actually respectable in the community. Until now. Because she's basically like taking people's shit. And I have the screenshots right here. Mm. And the best bit is, as respectable as Pokemon is, if you search up her name on YouTube, the first result that comes up is Pokemon. Fake. And you know what the crazy thing is? That probably 90% of the people searching this are 12 year old Fortnite players. These Pokemon fit compilations get millions and millions of views. And 90% of the clips that make up these compilations are just her walking away from her desk fairly innocently. I mean, to get some food or go to the toilet. I don't know, kids. But honestly, at this point, they may as well rename all of these fit compilations to 30 minutes of female woman standing up, wearing clothes, and walking out of a three dimensional room. Epic compilation. That's probably more accurate, to be honest. Are you down to 69? Bro, you're 12. You should be talking like that. Oh, man. There it is, in fact, a dark side. And today we're going to be exploring this dark side. And I want to start off with one of the more fresher controversies surrounding Pokemon. For some reason, she's been slightly out of control recently in regards to striking and removing certain people's YouTube videos. A lot of people don't like this because it comes. She did that to me. So she striked my videos. They were compilations that me and my editor, Telepathy, like came up with. And um, now, more so it was me, but still. It's fair use. Like, even though it's her content, she has no right to use the copyright claim DMCA system. Like, why would you use that system? Like, I can literally take you to court and win. Because all I did was take bits and seconds of a bunch of different videos you made and put it in a compilation. I didn't re-upload entire clips. And so, besides, like, if you still have here dissing people, why can't people diss her? Yeah, and the only like, reason she's doing that is because she doesn't like... Videos that criticize her. She doesn't like videos that 
show her in a different light. But this is the internet. There's nothing you can do with people making compilations, making diss videos on you. Like, that's just how it works. Like, there's people who made videos on me saying they hate my channel because all I do is play games and react to videos. There's millions of channels that do the same thing. For example, PewDiePie does it. There's a lot of channels that do the same thing I do. It's not even a big deal, you know? So honestly, as her having some kind of superiority complex, she's using her power to just go ahead and strike people's videos, whether it's fair or not. A YouTuber called Bo Blacks took some clips from her Twitter where she was having an argument with Keemstar regarding SS Sniper. And it turned out into one of those crazy Twitter feuds of literally Pokemon and Keem both firing selfie videos at each other. So this guy took all the clips from their argument and then uploaded them into a YouTube video. And Pokemon saw it and wasn't a big fan of the fact that he'd taken her tweets and then put them onto a YouTube video. And she just thought, hey, I'm gonna strike this down, boys. I mean, claiming the video is one thing, but actually trying to take it down and issue a strike to his channel is just absolutely ridiculous. And a complete abuse of power regarding YouTube's copyright system. But hey, kids, guess what? <laughs> it gets a whole lot better than this. <laughs> well, I'm so sorry that it takes you a lot of time to steal other people's content. I'm so sorry. And put it together. I'm so sorry that it takes you so much time to go to the top of those on Fortnite and then just right click and save all of them as and then just like put them all into Premiere and then just like export it. I'm so sorry. Anyway. She's out of there. And this is why. This is why people don't like her now. Because it doesn't even matter what people do, it's still fair use. If they put a bunch of clips together, it just seems like she just can't take criticism at all. Like yeah, she's sensitive to everything. Yeah, she's sensitive to everything. She can't take criticism. She doesn't like the fact that people take some of her clips and re-upload it and mesh it into compilations. And then she can't stand that they make money from it. And these there's content creators out here that create original content. But it's funny how the most original creators don't grow that much at all. Like, you kind of need other people's content to thrive on YouTube and any other platform. It's true. Like, you need, I'm not saying take someone's content and just re upload it. But, like, we're doing right now, we're reacting to a video talking about this situation, commentating over the video. That's still creating content. Now, if I was to take this video, download it, and re-upload it with me, without me in it or anything, that's a problem, you know. But mm -hmm. if I'm commenting over it, she can't take the fact that people are making money just by putting together clips or commentating over her content. She can't stand that. That's a problem for her, and I'm afraid she may not last long on YouTube if she thinks that way. Time and time again, tons of YouTubers have went through this, and they won. They win every time. When someone tries to abuse the power on the platform, it, we always win because it's yeah, fair use. Yeah. You can't you can't control someone else's channel. But you can control yours. Now, if you try to control someone else, then no, no, that's just another story that you just don't want to like even yeah. have to deal with. It. Yeah, it's it's messed up. Like. I guess this is the second controversy regarding Pokemon taking out people's YouTube videos. Fairly recently, during one of her live streams, she hopped into a Discord voice call with a YouTuber called Dav Sev. I mean, it's a pretty weird name, honestly. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but we're just going to go with Dav Sev. This Blake uploads generic Twitch streamer highlights, clips, and compilations. I believe the reason for her originally inviting him for this call was due to him lying in her stream chat, claiming he would gift up to $5,000 worth of subs. Essentially, he was behaving like bit of a schmuck. So she called him up to discuss what he was doing and during this call. She comes across this YouTube channel and you know it's a bit of a disaster, I've got to be honest. There's some shocking videos on there, mate. Oh my god! It's literally me! 700,000 views. So this is where you get your 550 check from, huh? No, I don't. I have another for the t-shirt. So it's just do it for fun. Oh my god, you use boobies in the thumbnail too. Come on. Oh my god, you put somebody else's but on a thingy of me. Hey, how does it feel to know that I'm going to take down your video? Does it hurt your feelings? <laughs> this is not my butt. Hashtag not my butt. Hashtag not my butt. 
Like, well, maybe that butt looks better than the one she had before. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what'd you what? say? You're asking what? That... <laughs> 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 I mean, maybe that butt looked better than hers. Like, <laughs> come on. You know how to go and take someone else to yeah, video down? Like, why would she take someone else's video down just because she didn't like how they meshed content together? So basically, they created content that was misleading and clickbait. And I can understand misleading content is kind of not cool. But at the same time, there's nothing you can do about it because it's still within fair use. <laughs> 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 a liar looks up my butt, lies about gifting stuff. Why would you title this video Pokemon Go? Why would you title this video Pokemon Twerk Live on stream? Just tell me. It wasn't actually me, it was my friend. Which one? Oh, yeah, yo, this was the easiest clip, bro. But at this point in the discussion, I think everybody can agree that Pokemon is in the right here because of course if this guy's proud of the fact that he's uploading clickbait videos it kind of tells us a lot about his character so if the video he's uploaded can sit okay yeah i guess i can agree like it is fucked up what he was doing though yeah yeah but if he was making compilations of the thick moment stuff that shouldn't be a problem but that i guess i can understand like it's misleading clickbait of literally just a stream clip nabbed from her live stream and in that case I think she 100% has the right to take on the video. However, a little bit further into the discussion, it does get pretty heated and I'm not sure you guys are gonna like this. Chat, what do I say to make him realize that it's an asshole thing to falsely clickbait someone else? Okay, so basically Pokimane just cannot stand on her two feet and say that she is against clickbait content. YouTube. She essentially collabed with a YouTuber who goes by the name of Shotgun Plays, but realistically he should be called I sound like I'm eating a chicken legend every time I speak. <laughs> I don't need to say much, bro, but it's just... I don't need to say much, but it's just like, wow, it really is wild well, this. Like, seriously, did anyone just understand a single word that came out of this bloke's mouth? Hello. Uh, hi. Somebody like to be called. Uh, call me Shot. Shot. Yeah. Well, Okay. Oh my god. And the reason this is a problem is because by playing with this dude, she essentially was supporting his content, and 90% of the stuff that he uploads is straight up misleading clickbait. <laughs> so, I don't really know what So that's the thing. Oh, now he just killed cool him. Because he's saying it's wrong that the dude was clickbaiting her, but she was collaborating with another YouTuber that does nothing but clickbait. So your, your whole. It falls apart, Pokey. Like everything you do is like a contradiction to yourself. Like basically it's... a hypocrite. I <laughs> 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 support this guy's videos. It just means that she can't go. Because everyone has said that on YouTube. Finally, someone gets it. Give Alyssa a clap. Clap. Just clap now. Are you gonna clap? Yeah. No. <laughs> She's not even part of, she doesn't even know about this stuff. And even she can see this is bullshit. Wait, to suggest that someone else making clickbait content isn't cool because, girl, I'm sorry, but you've supported probably the biggest Fortnite clickbait YouTuber. Whoops. <laughs> no, this was on. <laughs> I don't need to say watch bro play <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see from this clip, Pokemon is actually getting triggered by the fact that YouTubers are taking other streamers' content and uploading it so as a form of a compilation. I find this painfully hypocritical, Isn't considering Pokemon has no issue whatsoever spending literally 30 minutes watching TikTok compilations in her own live stream. And the best bit is, her main source of commentary during this reaction is actually the sloppy moisture from her trough of cabbage leaves. You're a school shooter, and you've had to shoot up the school, but then you realize you're homeschooling. <laughs> Dude, that's literally some revolutionary stuff right there, just sitting in your bedroom, eating lunch. I mean, to be honest, we're eating too, but we're actually, like, talking. Yeah, we're, like, we're but, talking and interacting and shit. 
but like, she's just like someone could take her down for what she did. All she did was eat. She literally ate that whole video. She didn't even say anything. But, but she wants to take down my videos. No. And, uh, just watching no. some YouTube videos. Like most of the people watching this now are probably eating something. Just watching the video on the couch. Like, dog, why aren't you live I'm streaming this? We could be making thousands of dollars, right? Here. This isn't some rare footage. This isn't the only time Pokemon's ever decided to react to videos. So she does it in most of her live streams. And as well, you have to consider the fact that Pokemon's actually monetizing this, considering she's accepting donations and also getting the advertisements that Twitch displays before the start of her stream. You're literally making money off of reacting to other people's videos in probably like 10% to 20% of your live stream. And in our conversation with Dab said, there's a bunch of times where she brings up the fact that he's like monetizing his videos. You expose me for money. Oh, I don't. I'm not even monetizing your videos. That's a bit awkward, isn't it, really? <laughs> so it turns out he doesn't even monetize his videos, which means by her making this point, she's pretty much shot herself in the foot. If she never got into this conversation and just swept down under the carpet or talked to him in the DMs, instead of live streaming it, no one would be able to use this kind of thing against her, but she's literally just made so many points, which just make her like so hypocritical. So honestly, I think this was a pretty big mistake by Pokey to live stream this conversation. A lot of the mistakes she's made thus far into the video, I feel as if they can partly be excused. However, the next part of this conversation between her and Davsev, I honestly think was a huge mistake on her part, because what she does is honestly pretty evil. <laughs> Pokey finds Davsev's personal Instagram page and literally starts looking through it and laughing at it in front of thousands of viewers. There's been me to me. What? Some people, they found my Instagram. Yeah, I found your Instagram too. <gasps> it's me. Why are you wearing your shorts like that? Which one? <laughs> like the yellow shorts. Damn! Yellow shorts. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. She knows she so, wants that. I don't know why she playing. She probably oh yeah, that's why she's gone through all these pictures. pictures. Do you feel bad that I'm like showing off like all this stuff? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not into liars. Or people who take advantage of others, but that's just a personal preference. People are reporting your channel because you're just uploading other people's content and you're clickbaiting. Oh my god, I'm actually like you think. This one thing looking at this guy's YouTube channel and laughing at it, and then it's another thing getting up his personal Instagram page and showing it to thousands of viewers. And you know what Pokemon's viewers are like? If she doesn't like someone, you best believe they're going to try and destroy that person. So I can imagine he had some really, really awful comments left on his Instagram, and I feel like she knew that was going to happen when she did this. Which is kind of harsh, considering the situation here. Like, Dav said, he hasn't really done much wrong, to be honest. And honestly, even though this guy was partly in the wrong for some of his content, I just don't think it's fair for her to be displaying his Instagram live in front of all of her viewers. It really did just feel like an invasion of privacy. I don't know, like, like I like, so this thing can like, like that. that. Yeah. yeah. Something's wrong with this girl. Did you hear what she said? For some of his content, I just don't think it's fair for her to be displaying his Instagram live in front of all of my viewers. How do you deal with that kind of thing? And you never really know what someone's going through or what they might do as a result of that, so... Right, so then why are you displaying some poor guy with 3,000 subscribers' personal Instagram page on your live stream and then just laughing at pictures of him? Yeah, I found your Instagram too. That's so mean. <gasps> Why are you wearing your shorts like that? Did you say who? Yeah. Yeah. If he is, that explains why. You said what? I don't know, so if she's single, because if he is, that explains why, right there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she is single. I think, is Pokemon single? Everyone comment down below. If yeah, I want to know. <laughs> I don't know if she's single. She might be, but... Like... It's stuff like that just... just it makes me, it makes it hard to be part of the YouTube community just with people like this. It's, it sucks because it's like, it's true what they say, there's bad people everywhere. <laughs> Man. Yeah. I mean, the way that like, she was just clicking on his pictures, why are you wearing your shorts like that? Because he wanted to wear his shorts like that? Got a problem? I mean, come on now. 
And it's just laughing at him while he's on the phone. Yeah. Man. That's humiliation right there. That's sad. The year's just humiliating people. And then, then all right, so thanks for being in the video. Oh, you're um, I think we pretty much hit it on the nail. Like, she's, she, this ain't it, she, this ain't, <laughs> this ain't it. Man. But I will see you guys, our natives, in the next video, and peace. He's an army. We must stand together. We must rise up. Today, this year is a year. When YouTubers and gamers, influencers, content creators unite and we raise our voices as one in a chorus. No, we shall not be vanquished into the night. Yes, we shall go forward into the light. PewDiePie, Mr. Beast, Keemstar, Grande, Dolan Dark, Hakalugi Paul, Gummy Bear. Rise up and raise your voices! Gamers! Rise! Hey guys, make sure you purchase the Merch Wise Hot Boy and make sure you click the link in the description, man. What are you waiting for? Make sure you turn on post notifications, subscribe, and check out the latest videos in my music and the merch link and other stuff. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for the support.